Hey, this is Jason at Full Spectrum Power. Um, thanks for joining us for another episode of Ask the Battery Guy. Uh, we, we get a ton of questions and nobody seems to read through the FAQs that we put on our website. Nobody likes to read anymore, obviously. So let's do a quick video. Um, this one is going to cover how do I maintain my lithium battery? Um, the truth is it's, it's a really simple topic uh, in theory. Um, so let's go over some basics. First, self-discharge. Lithium batteries do not self-discharge. This is very, very different from an AGM or a lead acid battery, which generally loses 1% per day, meaning that if you leave a lead acid battery sitting in your car uh, or on the shelf for that matter for four months, it's completely drained. Lithium doesn't do that. Lithium loses about 1% every 45 days so that same four months, you know, you're losing a few percent. Um, this is really helpful because this means that if you store your lithium battery in a fully charged state, it can sit for months or even years without having to worry about going out and putting a maintenance charge on it or, you know, any other kind of weird ritual that you've seen on whatever forum or Facebook group. You can literally just charge it Make sure it's not connected to anything and leave it sit for up to a year easily without having to worry about it. This is really helpful because what we see, especially in the first, say, two, three months of the year, is people calling and saying, man, this battery worked awesome all last year. And then I put my car back in the trailer and went back up north and boy, I came back four months later and the battery's at two volts. Yes. Your car has drained your battery. Something in your car that was wired to the battery drained it. They never self-discharge. It is not a physical property of lithium. You have a better chance of seeing oil evaporate than you do having one of our lithium batteries just suddenly lose voltage. It's not a thing. So again, what we suggest is you charge your battery when you are done and leave it alone. My personal recommendation is that you disconnect anything from the negative terminals. Why do I suggest this? Well, we see every conceivable device, battery isolators, you know, solid state this, solid state that, solenoids, all kind of stuff to isolate the battery. I've seen every one of them fail, right? All I do all day is talk to battery people or people who are having problems with their battery and every one of those products fails. They just do. It's like anything in a race car. At some point, something's going to break. Personally, I just, in, in my cars, I just disconnect a negative terminal because I know that that negative terminal is not going to suddenly walk its way back onto the battery, connect itself, and then allow for, you know, the ECU or some bad sensor to drain the battery when I'm not doing anything with my stuff. So how do you store, how do you maintain a lithium battery? Well, when you're done, you know, at the dyno, at the track, whatever it is, charge the battery fully, disconnect the battery and leave it alone. If you follow that advice, there is literally no way that the battery is ever going to go bad. They don't go bad from sitting. You can leave them sit for literally years. Um, so please take this advice because I don't want to sell you a new battery every year because you don't want to disconnect your battery. I really don't. Please follow this advice. It, it'll, it'll save you money. 